Check this out, Ryan. I scored a car. I'm so stoked. There's this car that's been running around town I've had my eye on. I need to find out a little bit more about it. Well, not only did I get to meet with the owner, but I convinced him to let me take this beautiful baby home with me. So now I'm gathering up the boys to fill them in on the master plan for this ride. Hell yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> What's up, Mike? What's up, Roly? Yours? Yeah, brother, I just scored it. This car is 67 Impala, clean as a pin. Now, this car has been in the area for a while. And actually, Paul, our upholsterer, did the interior of this car. I like it. Wow. Looks like Mike's wardrobe blew up in there. 1967 was the year Chevy was all about curves. The Impala's sexy Coke bottle style gave her a longer, fuller look, yet the dimensions were roughly the same as her predecessors. Awesome fastback roof lines, rounder rear quarter panels, and a redesigned latticework grille made sure this Impala was a real eye catcher. Standard issue transmission for the 67 was a fully synchronized three-speed manual, which could be juiced up to four-speed if your heart desired. So what's the plan, boss man? I want to put it in the casino. This will be a grand prize for the Count's blackjack tables in one of the casinos. We've built some fantastic relationships with the casinos in town over the years. Take a look at this thing. Wow, unbelievable. That is the first of its kind, I will tell you that. So many of them have been coming to us for prize cars lately, it's kind of hard to keep up. So I'm thinking that this Impala is the perfect ride to put our stink on pretty quick and get it ready for the next casino that wants one. Making sure this 1967 Impala was worthy of being a casino prize, I took as a personal challenge. I thought she was already pretty beautiful. We left that gorgeous snow white fur interior all alone, so I had Ryan focusing on the curves and accenting them with beautiful graphics on this ride. Well, Ryan finished her up and she looks insane and just in time, because just like I suspected, got a call from my old buddy Tim, and he's looking for a very special casino prize car. Nice Jag, nice Jag. Love that car. You just can't seem to quit driving it, can you? I can't stop. <laughs> it came out just stunning. I can't wait. She's, she's beautiful, I tell you that. Ah, oh. yeah, man. There she is, dude. 1967 Chevrolet Impala Fastback. Mm. Is that pimp or what? I got to tell you, players are going to love to play for that car in casinos. Bad, huh? That's bad. That is yeah. Fastback nasty. When I brought this 1967 Impala into the shop, she rolled in with some style and class. But since this is going to the casinos, I had my guys take her to a whole other level. We put a brand spanking new Flowmaster exhaust on this piece and gave her a much needed tune up. The team then fitted this gorgeous ride out with rocket, strike as cast, polished wheels, and a set of Cooper Cobra tires. Finally, Ryan slapped a fresh paint job on her in the beautiful two tone white and blue, complete with custom pinstriping and gorgeous custom graphics to match. I hate to see any car leave the shop, but man, this one's really gonna hurt. It's a body style that you don't see every day. We knocked it all down, straightened this thing out. That ain't easy to do. Whoever wins this car, they're going to freak out. There's going to be a bidding war for this car. If you approve it, she's yours. She's ready to go. Tim? Thanks, bro. Man, it's going to be hard not having that Impala in the shop anymore. But I did the right thing by honoring my promise and delivering Tim a beautiful casino prize car. So I guess now this means I'm free to go shopping. Man, <laughs> she does look beautiful.